if you're a little bit more advanced listener, you ought to check out Broadway the Hard Way. Well, it begins with a song called Elvis Has Just Left the Building. Ladies and gentlemen, Elvis has just left the building. We just heard Elvis. Elvis has just left the building. I'm sure that you're as thrilled as I am uh, at the the taste and uh, the decorum with which Elvis's memory has been carried on. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, and especially the way that he's been reappearing. You know, that would make a guy mad enough to come back, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I got a fax uh, about a week ago saying that I have a record in the top ten in Switzerland. You know, the same record, which is absolutely suitable for people in Switzerland, would never get played in the air in the United States. What is that record? Elvis has just left the building. Um, let's talk about Planet of the Baritone Women. Meanwhile, on Wall Street. Ode to Wall Street? Well, I actually took a, a field trip to Wall Street. I went to the stock exchange. It confirmed most of my suspicions. Like yeah. Everything that one would suspect from watching CNN's Money Line, it's all really happening there. It's the idea that there was at one time in American history a syndrome where certain junior executives, guys who thought they were moving up, would carry this thing that looked like a purse. And that was the symbol of how suave you were as a guy with a little suit on carrying a purse. And that, that in fact, is a baritone woman. You know, and the reason they carried it, because they didn't want to put anything in, in their pockets because it spoiled the line of their trousers. And there's another song called uh, Any Kind of Pain, which is about the way women are used in television commercials. Madison Avenue, where men are men and women are useful in advertisements. Madison Avenue has a tendency to create um, icons that Americans will then consume over a period of time, which shapes their reality. And the whole idea of what constitutes a woman in the United States has, to a great degree, been manufactured for you by some guys who got together in Madison Avenue and said, this is what a woman looks like, this is how a woman acts, and this is what a woman does. This deals with sort of imaginary female character that Madison Avenue has concocted in order to sell you stuff. But I welcome this kind of examination because people have got to know whether or not their president's a crook. Well, I'm not a crook. It has two titles, one that you probably can't say on this station. And the other one is the San Clemente Magnetic Deviation. God damn it, I'm never going to discuss this son of a bitching Watergate thing again. Never, 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 never. Larry, I'd like to compliment you on your fine choice of guests this evening. I don't choose guests, but Mr. Zappa, if I were the chooser of guests, would be chosen frequently. Confect confinement loaf. <laughs> you know about the confinement loaf. Where did you first hear about confinement loaf? Okay, CNN ran a story that Ike saw on the air. He came to rehearsal one day and says, you're not going to believe this. CNN ran a story last week about this new product that has been developed for our prison system. It is called confinement loaf. Now what it is, it's a bean byproducts compressed into a loaf, which is administered to problem prisoners and it seems to mellow them out right away. So my question is, how long before confinement loaf appears in United States high schools? They test it on people in prison so that they can later release it to the public at large. And that's exactly what America needs, is more of that kind of music during the daytime. Frank Zappa, ladies and gentlemen.